If you've bought your light force lamp second hand without any instructions or you bought a new one and lost them there's a few things in here trying to stop you from overeating the lamp. It says don't leave connected when not in use. When you've got the lamp don't place it on any surface face down that'll cause overeating. You can use any polarity because it's not earth through the lamp itself. Make sure there's no loose connections. The outer lens cover, the glass there, can be kept clean. But it says do not attempt to clean the inside of the light or touch the inside lens and reflector. Also it says don't use it for long periods of time. It needs an airflow. And if you've left this switched on stationary, there's a, an assumption it might overeat. So if you're using it I think it looks like it's designed if stationary for just short time usage but obviously if you're walking around or you're using it from a car and moving I can't see it overeating um, it goes on tells you what what bulbs you can use the 140 is a 75 watts all the others are 100 watts except for the Predator and the Enforcer which is totally different design to these I'm talking about the plastic ones, the 140, the 170 and the 240. Uh, the focusing mechanism, it's a screw there, a screw thread, fits on there. I'm just talking about that, you can screw it either inwards or outwards, very simple to produce either a flood or a spotlight. Um, it says shortening the cable length can vastly shorten the bulb life and not to wind it too far out the uh, the reflector part if you're trying to focus a beam or something like that where you alter it it says not to leave it too far away it's screwed out I don't know why a uh, little few more bits and pieces the one thing it does say though is about replacing the bulb now I didn't realize this until I actually checked to do this film if it's a, a 240 or a 170 lamp and it's got the uh, 100 watt bulb in when you push the bulb in push it right up to the end so it's a flush fit with the base the fitting it's just an ordinary two pin fitting do not touch the glass with your bare fingers obviously if it's a blown bulb before you take it out to replace it you want to make sure it's cold leave it for a short while but it's just a simple two pin fitting two holes in the holder there put the pins in and just gently push and away you go but it says in the instructions for the 75 watt bulb and the the glass the globe part of it of the glass is quite a different shape to the 100 watt or even the 50 watt it says leave a gap between the base of the holder there and the bottom of the bulb glass leave a gap about three millimeter as i got ready to do this film i checked mine and it was five millimeters and that was a brand new lamp so perhaps it needs worth checking but just having a quick look there needs to come out that's just over a millimeter a little bit of a wiggle I think that ain't going to be enough no just a touch more there is some element of focusing you can do I think with the 100 watt bulb if you do try leaving it out just a little bit that is one two just coming up to three millimeter all uh, just a touch more it's quite a tight fit so I can't see movement of use while you're out lamping or uh, well whatever you use these lights for I can't see just picking up the lamp and moving it around will alter the bulb that looks about three millimeters so I think I'll leave that as it is so just to remind you if you have got a 75 watt bulb either with a 140 or a 170 lamp 
to leave that bit of a gap there small measure simple to do you haven't got to do it exactly but it says there leave two to three millimeters clearance between the globe holder pins and the base of the globe obviously the main bulb there this is Australian this will allow optimal focusing ability this 12 volt 75 watt globe is standard in SL140 well it's all the different ones the RM140 and that so it's, it's all the 75 it refers more to the 75 watt bulb so if you put a 75 watt into a 170 or a 240 don't forget that two or three millimeter gap um, there's no instructions if you want to put a, a 50 watt bulb in but I'm assuming it's the same as the 100 as the glass is quite long you just push it straight in but luckily by me doing this bit of a film here I've realised that my bulb was in wrong it's worth checking yours I think